My name is uh, Martin Helgel. I'm the executive director of uh, the Institute for Health Technology Studies, or InHealth. And we are pleased to uh, bring this annual event to you once again and appreciate your being here. Uh, I'm going to say just a few words about who InHealth is for those of you that are new to our organization and uh, might update those of you that are already familiar with us. We're committed to researching the hypothesis that medical technology adds value. And our particular area of medical technology in which we're interested uh, are devices and diagnostics. We do not necessarily get involved in the pharmaceutical side. Uh, but we, hold, we sponsor research at uh, universities with uh, major investigators to examine that proposition that medical technology brings value and to understand value we need to understand the costs of uh, innovation as well as the benefits. And so we fund that, those studies and do that research and we hold educational events of this nature to explore the proposition. We have uh, <coughs> pointed out in a number of places and I briefly will do, the, do it again this morning that medical technology advances over the last 20, 30 years have radically redesigned the way that medical technology, uh, the way that uh, medical care is delivered. Uh, it has been a result that medical uh, care has been delivered quite differently today than it was in 1980. From inpatient to outpatient, from intensive to less intensive settings, into now physicians' offices, into home monitoring, uh, fewer disabilities, uh, less invasive procedures, less pain for patients, faster recovers, far, faster return to work. The entire system of care is fundamentally different than it was just 20 or 30 years ago. And as we consider the pace of innovation and what is on the horizon, you start thinking about nanotechnology and gene technologies, uh, continued m uh, miniaturization and roboticization. Is there such a word as that? Uh, uh, creating robots that are doing increasingly precise and small procedures. The potential that we will see, uh, that we do see on the horizon and the, the effects over the next few years are going to be nothing short of uh, stunning. So as we look, talk about healthcare reform, and we talk about regulatory and, and fina financing of healthcare, regulatory issues, and consider the challenges that we've already faced as we have dealt with the change that's occurred in the last 30 years. Just imagine for a minute the challenges we have in the next 10 as this pace of change accelerates, the rate of innovation continues uh, at uh, exponential rates, bringing tremendous medical benefit to patients, making it much more accessible to patients because there is less pain. It's easier to deliver the care and the procedures. Uh, but also increased costs because there are larger numbers of people now uh, experiencing these procedures and benefiting from them. So as a society, we face some huge challenge, challenges regarding the risks and the rewards of medical technology innovation. Uh, the med tech industry is a vibrant global industry in which the USA is one of the leaders. Uh, communities that have med tech companies in them enjoy substantial economic benefit from the presence of those companies because they're good paying jobs. The balance of payments benefits from medical technology uh, exports. Uh, it is a very important part of the US economy. And we look forward to a discussion throughout the day today as to what effect uh, the uh, new bill, health care bill, will have in the long term on the rate of innovation and our ability as a society to bring these advances uh, to patients and to providers who give them care. <coughs> 